Hey, this is Ori from AstroWeb, and I'm going to show you how to manage a new Magento admin user. Um, so the first step you need to actually do is figure out what kind of permission, what do you want this new user to access or an existing user to change their permissions or their access. Uh, once you know that, you're actually going to create a role. So you're going to go to System, Permissions, and User Roles. And a role is basically a set of uh, permissions or a set of areas that you want them to access. So let's create a new one. And let's call it Product Management. Okay. So in this case, for this example, what we want to do is allow the user to only manage products, only this section right here. No, I don't want them to see reports or marketing or dashboard or sales only to allow a specific admin user to manage the products, okay? And um, of course, you have to actually set up a new role and a new user with an admin that has access to uh, enable new roles and new users. So I'm going to put my admin password in, and I'm going to click on Role Resources. So you can either click on All or Custom, and I'm going to organize this a little bit so you can see what's going on. Okay, great. So everything that's on the left, dashboard, sales, products, you can see I can allow, I, I can enable that or multiple things for a user, for example. So in this example, what we want to do is allow our new role, our new user to actually only view the product information. So anything that's dashboard products or anything below, not including sales, if you allow the user or the admin user to access that area, they can do everything in that area. So for example, for products, they can add a new product, they can edit, they can delete, they can change, um, they can do whatever they want. But for sales, you actually have more control, which is you can allow some of the things to, for example, only view orders only edit an order, only cancel an order. So for example, you might have customer service only be able to view order information and maybe a managers to cancel orders or you know capture payment or things like that. So in this case, you can have more things in the sales uh, section. Okay, great. So let's save it right here. And now that we created the role, let's create the user. So I'm going to click on system, permissions, and all users. I'm going to add a new user. Okay, so let's call this uh, product. Okay, this is the username, and let's just make up something right here. Joe. And we're going to add a password. Okay, try to have a secure password. And make sure it's active and make sure the, the back end language is the one you want. And then, of course, we're going to have to authorize again with our admin uh, password. And now we're going to select the role we just created right there, and I'm going to click on Save. Okay, great. So that's it. It should be ready to go. So let's log out and log in as product, right, as the username called product. Perfect. So now you can see on the left that user can only manage the product section. They can add, they can edit, they can view, they can... Uh, do everything on this page, on this area. So hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.